Hey everybody, it's me, Happy Girl. I'm going to make a different kind of video today. Everybody keeps asking me, how did you make those shirts? First things first, you need premium. You gotta order, subscribe to a premium level to sell your shirts. You can still make shirts, but you can't sell them if you don't have premium. So if you want to be able to sell shirts in your group or in the store to make some Robux money, you have to have the premium to be able to do that. Then you go to create. Go ahead and create. I'm going to go to my groups creations because I have groups that I want to earn Robux money in. Right now it's in my fan club group. I'm going to click on shirt. And then I'm going to see up here. If you don't know how to do this, click here. So click there. I've already done this, but here are the templates for the pants and the shirt. You just click on each of these, you download those, and save them to your computer. All right. Once you do that, then you come back here, and you have all these things, right? You still need to make your shirt. So a lot of people can make shirts using the template with the paint programs and stuff like that. The program I like to use the best is actually an, a free online program, and I have it opened here, but I'll open a new one. It is the pixlr.com slash e slash, and it brings you here. You come down here to open image. You go to your downloads. It's going to be up at the top for you guys, and you go to the image that you want and it opens. Oops, did I open the wrong one? I opened the wrong one. So I'm going to go here, go to open image, template shirt, and see here's a template. Then what we do is you want to create a new layer picture this as putting down like a piece of glass and you're going to draw on the piece of glass without ruining your template because you don't want to you don't want this template left you don't want that as part of your shirt so we're going to make a blue shirt this time i'm going to make a hoodie so i'm going to find a nice pretty blue i want to do a color that one's a good color so we'll click on that and then we want to click select you carefully place your cursor and you go and you cover up what you want this is going to be a short shirt if it's to there a long shirt that goes all the way to your pants to here I like the long shirts we don't need plumber cracks then you go to paint you fill it in with the color and then you come back up here this is the top part of the shirt. See up here? That is the upper part. You go and you highlight that. I go all the way down. That's the underneath so people can't see up your shirt. And you go to fill and you fill it in. And then you do that with your sleeves also. You come over here you click this. This is going to be the top, the shoulder part. See here? See right here? That's a short sleeve shirt. We don't want a short sleeve shirt. So we want, I'm making a hoodie, so I'm going to make a long sleeve shirt. So it's going to go all the way down to here. And then I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to hit select again. You want the upper part, the shoulder part. And you want the bottom part by the hands, the sleeve, the cuffs. You fill that in. And then what you can do is click select. You select it. And then you can control C on your keyboard, control V on your keyboard. Come over here to the to the arrow, come up here, flip it, and then place it here. 
so that they're the same. See that? And it created a new layer, which is okay, because we're not going to really do anything here to the sleeves to make them different than each other. You can. You can put words on them if you wanted to and stuff. And so now we're gonna, going to make the neck hole. You come here to select. We select the circle. You make your hole for your neck. You center it. And then you come up to edit and you hit cut. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. That's a big lesson right there. Come here. Then you go <laughs> to circle. You click on it, you center it. It looks pretty centered as, as it is. You hit cut, and then you have that. So on this one, let's go back here. Let's hide this layer. We have this here, which is not a big deal because that's on the bottom layer, and we are going to delete that layer soon. So you come back to here, I'll show it again. Now we're going to add, um, now we're going to add the words to this thing. And you want to create a new text layer. See how it opened a new layer? And it brings up the words. On my other shirt, I have open. I already made. I have Happy Girl 77 on the front. And I'm with Happy on the back. So I'm going to recreate this, but in the blue color shirt. And I am going to fill it in. It was size 33. And it was not this language, but it was bro. B R O is the beginning of the word. This one. And I said, happy girl. 77 just like that see the same and then i will take it I'll click out of it so i can center it see how that pink line shows up it's centered i want to lower it down a little bit so it's on the chest of of the shirt not so close to the neck so i'm going to lower it down just a little bit more and then we want to do another text layer Another text box, you can add a layer that way. It's showing you different ways to do it. And I wrote, I'm with happy! Exclamation point. And that one I did, the size was 24, because it's a little bit smaller on the back. And I'm going to click out so I can move it. And I am going to set it here in the middle of the back. Just like in this one. See that? That one's a little higher. Let's see. That's better. And then what I did was I made lines and stuff with it to give it some texture and things. And so I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I created another empty layer. See that? Because I don't want to mess with what I've got at all. Don't want to mess with it. So then you go to pen. So and then I changed the color just slightly. See this? So it's just a little bit different. Say OK. And make sure you're on that layer. It's highlighted. And then we draw our lines. All right. So first thing I did was I drew a little line here. Well, that's not really showing up, is it? So we're going to undo that and make it a little bit darker. There we go. And we are going to try it again. And 
and I draw a couple little lines like that. See that? They don't have to be perfect because nobody wears their shirt perfectly. And then I I made the hood. See the hood comes from here off the neckline. So I'm going to do that and it kind of does kind of a fun thing. Oops, I went too far. So undo. Let's try to get them. come off from here. Go down. Go down. And then a hood. That's like that. And then you want to come back over here and make the hood. The bottom of it. See that? Kind of make it so it'll kind of match up. You won't know until you get it in the game and you try it on. And you don't, when you put it back in the game, I'll show you, it's not published. You can't show, like you can't sell it to anybody. You have to publish it. So I will show you that really quickly here after I am done. Because, you know, it needs pockets. You need the little pocket on the front. See that? So we did that. So there's our shirt. Now we go to... Oops, we don't want to save it. Go to here. And you want to delete this layer. You don't want this layer. So come down here, delete. So now you just have your shirt. Then you go to File, Save. I am going to say this is Happy Girl 77 Hoodie Blue. So I know which one it is. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. Download. And it downloads down here. Then you come back to Roblox. And once it's done downloading, it'll be in your... See? It's right here. In your downloads. You click on it. You hit enter. And you hit upload. And it, this part takes a few minutes. It will take a while before it shows up. For me, sometimes it's a day, but I can show you with this other one. You can you can see how it's showed up already. I made this one yesterday. But you can click on this and sometimes you can see it right away. You can try it on. And because you're the creator, it's automatically in your inventory. So this is Ah, and that could be you go over here to your inventory. You can see your avatar, and you can see the blue hoodie here is in my inventory, but it hasn't loaded completely 100% yet. And it took me a few tries. You know, some of these I didn't didn't work out so good. And like this hoodie is just a T-shirt, you can see. And so I I tried different ones, but I didn't publish them all. I only published this one. But you can you can click on it and stuff and it will load and you can you can keep it. See, this one's my pink one that I created the other day. So we go back to our groups and we go to our store. You can create or manage your items. See how that hoodie is for sale here for five Robux. Create or manage. The shirt is here, but it's not showing up yet. But I will show you the steps real quick. You click on it. You can click here and you click configure. And I'll bring you to the configure page. And here's the configure page. You can change the name of it if you want to. You can add, remove this for comments. I, some of them I have on, some of them I have off. And here, if you want to publish it, you hit sale. Oh, I forgot to hit save because I touched that down here. Save. You go to sale. And this item is for sale. It's clicked off right now. You click it on. And the cheapest you can do is five because you get 70%. So for every shirt we sell in our group, we get three Robux out of the five. 
and you can change this to whatever. So if you want a lot of money in your group to give to your fan, your fans or your friends, you can you can go up a lot. Like I bought one of my shirts for 200 Robux. So for that one shirt, my group is going to get 140 Robux. So you can buy it for yourself, you know, but you have to delete it from your inventory first and then you can buy it from yourself in your group. So I'm not going to do that to my friends. I'm not going to make them buy things for $200. I'm going to save it for five because that's the cheapest you can, you can do. I can't give it away for free. It won't let me. I wish I could, but what then I can do is after it sells, then you get to keep the Robux in your group. Let me go back to groups. And you go to your store and you'll see it right down here. But it's probably not going to be showing up yet because it's not loaded yet. See that? So we go back to our group items. I'm going to turn that off real quick because I don't want somebody to, to buy it if it's not going to load properly. So I go back to sales. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to save it. But I'll show you real quick um, by going back to the group again. You go to your group. You can see your store, right? You see all these items here, and I've sold some. You can go up to here to configure. You can hit configure. You can hit revenue, and it'll show you the different things. Summary. See, I have 91 Robux in this, in this one waiting to hit our account. And then once it hits, I can do a payout. You can do a recurring payout and pay everybody monthly or weekly, or you can do a one-time payout where you just click on their names and can do the payout. But that's how you are able to transfer funds to your friends and fans, and that is so. I just made the shirt. I also made a green one. It's all showing up. It's later in the day, if you can see that. And so, here we are. Let's try it on. See how it looks. Here it is. Isn't it cool? Yay! Well, I hope this tutorial helped you out. And if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Have a wonderful day. Bye!